Hello, you beautiful, beautiful people. It's your friendly neighbor Vava once again. And before I get started on the new Magmortar stage, I just want to let you guys know that there is the repeat challenge of Konga and Ash Great Ninja. And they will drop their own personal skill booster. So if you plan on boosting up Congress or Ash Great Ninja's power of 4 plus skills, uh, you can do so for 2 weeks long. But without further ado, let's jump straight into the Magmortar stage. And on this stage, I will be testing out one of those recently skill boosted Pokemon which is none other than Godon itself. And I think it is probably the most useful Pokemon to bring on this stage. Especially if you have a very high skill level Quake. And the other Pokemon that I actually bring in is Tyranitar for its Eject Plus because of um, Magmortar icons that are in the stage or that could be summoned later on in the stage. And Gigalith is there for its Block Smash Plus to actually break up any blocks that could be in the Skyfall or that could be summoned later on into the stage as well. Alright, so as you can see in this stage I'm actually using plus 5 moves but technically I, did not, I didn't actually need the plus 5 moves to actually get the itemless S rank. So basically the title I will put it will be a pseudo itemless S rank. Because technically it is an itemless S rank. Alright, so without further ado, let's get started with the stage. And you want to probably take make use of the starting T boost plus ability that uh, Magmortar actually has. And with that, what you want to do is basically you want to get rid of those initial Magmortar icons as fast as possible. Uh, you can probably do that mainly by matching Tyranitar icons to actually eject them away. Or making duo matches uh, with the Magmortar icons itself. And as you can see, a uh, quick actually activator on a 3 match. Reason being is if your quick is at max level, a 3 match quick activation will jump all the way to 60%. Uh, 75% for a 4 match and 100% for a 5 match. And this is one of the very few stages where Quake will be super effective and can actually work on a Pokemon. So it will be a really really good idea I will feel to actually make use on, of this Quake ability. Alright and with that uh, as you can see there will be Skyfall blocks, there will be Skyfall blocks as well. So uh, it is definitely important to bring at least one block smash uh, Pokemon. Uh, you can bring two if you want. You can bring Gigalith and Golurk if you please. Uh, as you can even see, the starting initial disruption of Magmortar was actually at 8 turns. So what you can do is actually, if you actually have a Godon max level skill of Quake, you can make use of it to actually store the stage with every two turns. And you can even bring a Mindset Great Ninja for example, so you can jump back the disruption timer all the way back to 8 if you want to. So that is another, that might be a more consistent way of going about the stage. It may not be as good of a balance team that I am showing you guys right here right now. Uh, but it will be, I would feel a very consistent way of actually beating the stage. So if you guys have not uh, tested or even tried out maxing out Gordon's uh, skill, I will really really advise you guys to do so if you're interested and it will make this stage so much more easier, literally. And with that, that's pretty much it. So this team actually has a nice balance. Uh, you, Like I said, you can bring a team of Gordon and Greninja if you want to actually really stall the disruptions as much as possible. Because once it goes past the disruptions of 8, uh, it will start to summon the likes of 5 Magmortar Icons, it will start to summon the likes of 5 Random Blocks. So it will be good and bad. It will probably be better if you guys try to avoid those disruptions. And as you can see right here, I actually had 17 moves re remaining using just a plus 5 move. So technically, it is a 12 move uh, item load. And I'm really really happy with that. Alright, so uh, if you guys actually were to notice here, uh, I actually caught this Magmota much earlier on my first initial dry attempt. So the catch ability will be the same as Electrowire here whereby it will have a 10% base catch rate and for every move you have remaining it will increase by 2%. So I was technically supposed to have a 34% base catch rate but however I managed to catch it on my first attempt uh, prior to this uh, plus 5 moves attempt. Alright, and there we go, we got the S rank with only just plus 5 moves, technically itemless because you didn't need the plus 5 moves. Uh, so yeah, and with that, 
As you can see the ability it actually has 70 attack power and it has a plus boost so if you see any designs or plus you can just make it. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video, drop a like and catch you all next time.